All right, so how confident are you with communicating in healthy ways? Charlie Simpson with the Arkansas Relationship Counseling Center is here to help us understand how to communicate without being defensive. You got a football in your hand. We're playing football today. We're playing defense? Do I got to play defense? Yeah, can you play defense? I can play defense. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's good, but I can play. Now, defense is great <laughs> for the football field. Not in a relationship. But it's horrible for a relationship. All right, so what is defensiveness in, re in a relationship? It's just like in football. Your objective is to get this ball in the end zone, mm -hmm. and the objective for the other team is to defend that place and not allow that to happen by any means necessary. You're going to counter the offense. You're going to come up. You're going to rebuttal. You're going to think of ways that I can make sure that this football doesn't get in the end zone and that the other <laughs> team win. You're not on the and, same team. And, 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 well, I'm hoping the Razorbacks are able to do that this week. Yeah. You know, we're hoping. We, we, we do hope that. <laughs> <laughs> but the same thing happens in relationships. I hear my partner's perspective, mm -hmm. and then automatically I'm just starting to get ready for a rebuttal uh, to come back and defend my perspective. And it's and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. Both people want to be heard in a relationship. Yeah. And if I'm hearing my partner, I want my partner to hear me. And if I don't think my partner is hearing me, I'm going to get louder. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to get to a point where I'm going to try to make sure uh, you hear me uh, happens, and then shut it down. What happens if like your criticism is, is something that's legit? Like you're telling your partner you're lazy and you really are lazy. Well, what if then they what? are lazy? What if you do have a selfish a, a, a partner that isn't clean? Those things are perfectly normal mm -hmm. according to the, relation, um, the, the research. We know that there are certain perpetual problems but your objective is to communicate that in the healthiest and most gentle way possible. Okay. Either you're going to communicate it from the frustrations mm -hmm. of the selfishness or the, your partner's laziness, okay. or you're going to find a different way to express those, those feelings in a way to where your partner will not become defensive, mm -hmm. and they'll be able to hear you uh, okay. much better. Okay, what if you do like hear that criticism, though? How do you not become defensive? That's hard. That's yeah. hard. If I hear my partner <laughs> tell me so I'm, negative. I'm selfish and yeah. negative, I'm going to want to defend myself, but sometimes couples are in a good place to where mm -hmm. they can hear uh, a criticism. Uh, I'm selfish, and they go say, "Yeah, you know, I, I, I've, I've been You're this right, way. I am. I am. I am. Yeah. And they'll kind of go into a story uh, of why they're they're that way, just okay. to kind of help their partner better understand that. And we call those repairs. They can get it back on track okay. and keep the couple in a positive place. But that okay. is extremely difficult. Uh -huh. I bet. All right. That's extremely difficult. Yeah. Well, thank you so much all for right. teaching us all about some defense today no that we calls. don't need. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back. Actually, we're checking in with Rance, I think.